are back. I had to take a little break and uh, eat some KFC. Literally. So. We're happy now. At night, school buildings has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark. And more than that, spooky. Were you living there for three days? Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today? Before you go on, I want you to know they're not a great represent representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. <laughs> Tasting them, it reminded me of why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him. In a way that you can that you find inspiring. Now it might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. I love your chicken. <laughs> Colonel Sanders? Yes, Big Daddy Grizz? There's something I need to tell you. Hold it right there. Oh, this is fucking... There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef in the world has ever seen. And every day since, I've been working towards that dream. Day and night, never stopping, never resting. Also, Lifting a lot of weights. <laughs> like so many weights. <laughs> we should follow our dreams with all of our heart. That our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Ooh, I can't hey, no, I... You... Shut up! I'm the one here to see inspirational stuff and... Be the star of the story. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. <laughs> hmm. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? <laughs> Wait, look at his hand. Yeah, it's like... Like that, what? Ugh. Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. Forget him! We're talking about me! Me, yeah. me, 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 me! I'm the hero! Yeah. The fuck is that? The Spork Monster is here to fight a hero! I, uh, I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds! How dare you threaten me just as I was letting down my guard and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Be afraid, be very afraid of me because I'm a monster, see? Is he rhyming on purpose or is that just a coincidence? Definitely made by non-English speaking. But before you can discuss Santex any further, it's a turn-based fight sequence. Really? Throw your chicken at him! <laughs> what will you do? Attack. You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love! Does one damage. It just got real! <laughs> that attack really upset Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on the attack. <laughs> they spit hot gravy on you. You take one damage. So sperm. Attack. You decide to go on the attack. It worked last time, right? 
Cook with love does one damage. Spork monster won't forget this. <laughs> it's really feeling threatened by your attack. Focuses her mashed mind and draws on draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more intimidating. How will you respond? Defend. Which defense will you do? Trepidation. You hold your head between your hands and mutter, this is not happening, this is not happening. Spork monster is no quieter. No, is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble. They go on the attack once again. Spork Monster uses Uni Tensile. You take two damage from the attack. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. Attack! This didn't happen in Doki Doki. Cook with love does one damage. It oozes cheese sauce onto the lawn of the quad. I wonder who is going to have to clean that up. Feeling vulnerable, Spork Monster prepares for its ultimate attack. Rounded Edge! Vow villain! Your reign of terror stops here. Colonel Sanders summon the energy of a thousand chickens! <laughs> Pot Pie Power Punch! Popeye Power Punch does 10 damage. Spork Monster is defeated. You saved me? <clears throat> An injured Spork Monster spews steam into the night. No student will ever walk to quads in fear again. This monster messed with the wrong chef. Attack! Ready for your final attack. You'll never survive my... Student-led... Student loan debt destruction! Jesus. <coughs> it's too real. Does 10 damage! Spork monster is completely vaporized. Colonel Sanders looks on and off. You continue to surprise me, Big Daddy Grizz. <laughs> the defeated monster left behind a special item. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it is much more. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. What the fuck? It's the Clickonomicon. The Clickonomicon? <laughs> <laughs> You open the cover to find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have signed it out is Borco. Hmm. Borco? That name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your little buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. You're dead. Oh. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped me get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you are tucked in tightly. Good night, my colonel. Oh, Jesus Christ. In your dream... You're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there. Instructing your love. Dreams are weird. 
Look, he's like, like fucking everybody's riding a piece of chicken, including the ghost. That's hilarious. You awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? And then there was that secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Sperm. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably just because he already trusts you that so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about your encounter with the Spork Monster, she launches into a story of her own. Okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be... Mm, I think I might like Clank. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, he is the dick that keeps on dicking. Like him? Like, like, like? I know it sounds like I'm moving too fast, but there's something about him. <laughs> I like him. Like, like him. We got to talk after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Did you know that Colonel Sanders is the most popular kid in, this, in his high school? No, but that does make complete sense. Yeah, but he was so popular that he was voted prom king at the school he didn't even go to and was also the convertible was also the convertible that he himself rode in at the front of the homecoming parade. Makes no sense. Maybe we're reading it wrong. But he was also the convertible that he himself rode in. What, he transformed? Maybe the robot one. Tell us, people. I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cooker language translation there. Either way, maybe it'd be best if you took it slow with this new boy. Like I am with Colonel Sanders. Are you really doing that though? You and Colonel Sanders? The coolest guy in school? The most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School Academy of Learning? You're a thing now? We definitely connected yesterday. <laughs> you did something. <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Uh, why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. Yes, you, you are great. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Oh, don't do that. Your bestie's eyes light up. A secret ingredient? Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo in here? Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. So this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in a botanical garden where I was wondering. This can't be good. No. He told me all about his passion for spices. Secret spices. The man never... The man even gave me some. To show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from super duper rare dried flower petals. And that it did him a big favor and that if I did him a big favor I could have some of my own please Miriam don't tell me so I filled my suitcase with him and brought them home he was so nice he even met me at the gate when I arrived later when I cooked with him a very strange feeling came over me and the flavor was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. Is that what I'm hearing? Co cocaine? Maybe. The thing you're being very liberal with, the meaning of spices here. Whatever. 
Anyhow, we both shared an interest in cooking, so we've stayed in touch, you know, like pen pals. I bet he would love to know more about new spices. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. It's the Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it'd be much use to anyone. Please, please, please. It would mean the world to me. No one has to know it came from you. Or from Colonel Sanders. Mm, sounds bad. Oh, she's my best friend. What did you change? Fake ingredient, man. Sperm. It was I of Newt. <laughs> the fuck? I know, it sounds like some kind of witch potion, but what can you do? I have knew. Wow. Her eyes lit up. Imagining such a thing, and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity, and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's eh, probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she is definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. Oh, gee, I wonder who it is. It's Colonel Sanders. <laughs> He's arrived at school. <laughs> oh, my heart's afflicted. Colonel Sanders' horse is truly a thing of beauty. <laughs> Without even acknowledging that he's being watched, he does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. He then slaps the beautiful creature gently on its rear, sending it running free into the court, court countryside. You are so struck by the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. I kind of want that effect over us. Oh, I didn't realize anyone was watching. Don't worry, he knows his way home. You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the words don't come out exactly right. Uh. What a horseful beaut mount uh, beaut you have. I mean, what a horseful beaut you have. Dang it! That's what I just said. Being a good friend, Miriam attempts to cover for you. Oh. Big Daddy Grizz is just really nervous around people they like. What? This is not helping. I mean, they got food poisoning and were up all night. It was gruesome. You should have seen it. She gives you a wink and a smile as if to say, situation handled. Can't blame a girl for trying. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. Awkward.